What's going on guys? Today I have something really special for you guys. I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to live stream to YouTube gaming or just YouTube in general using OBS Studio. So first off, what you need to do is you need to drop a like and subscribe and let me know in the comment section below what you need help with on your YouTube journey. I'm open to ideas and I'm open to help. So please let me know down below. I'll definitely help you out. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. As you see on the screen right now, you have to go to obsproject.com. The link is in the description box below. Go check it out. You have to go there to download it. And then when you get there, you're going to see the same exact screen that's on my screen right now. You're going to go take a little arrow that you have. You're going to go click on download OBS Studio. And then you're going to click Windows 7 or whatever operating system you have. And then it's going to download in the tab below in your downloads tab. You can find it. You're going to install that software like you normally do for any other software or program that you download. Okay, now that you have OBS Studio downloaded, what you want to do is you want to go, you're going to have a scene already created for you. So you're going to go to the sources tab. You can click that little add symbol and you're going to add whatever devices you have. If you want to add your capture card, I'll teach you guys a little trick right now. You're going to go to video capture device and click on that. You're going to add capture device and then click on whatever you need. I'm going to cancel that out mainly because I have a bunch of crap that's going on right now on my computer regardless of the matter. So I can't show you guys exactly. But. The, the reason why you came today is to figure out how to live stream. So what you want to do is you want to click on settings on OBS and you want to go to the stream tab. When you go to the stream tab, you're going to see a whole bunch of stuff that says stream type, uh, service, show all services, server, stream key. I'm going to show you guys today where to get all this information and how to set this up as simply as possible. This is the a beginner's tutorial. So what you want to do first off, you want to make sure it's set to stream type, it's set to streaming services. Now after you do that, you're going to go down to services. You're going to click there, you're going to go to YouTube slash YouTube gaming or whatever. Well, I'm showing you for YouTube and YouTube gaming, so that's what we're going to be using right now. So you're going to want to pick between a YouTube primary server or backup server. Now, what this really is, is this is YouTube servers for their gaming wise. So if one server is having a lot of lag, you can switch over to the backup server and you can continue your streaming from there, give or take your internet can handle it. Now to get your stream key is a little bit different. You'll have to go to your live dashboard and go to your live streaming tabs. Let me take you there really quickly to my live streaming tab. One second. All right. So as you can see, guys, I'm on the live streaming tab the stream now section of YouTube gaming. Now what you want to do is you want to scroll all the way down past your super chat down to the encoder setup. You don't need to worry about the server URL because with OBS, it already provides you the backup and primary servers. So what you want to do is you want to click on the stream name slash key. I'm not going to click reveal because then obviously it's going to show you my stream key. You could probably stream what on my stuff, which is pretty weird. You can click on reveal in the copy and paste that that little numbers that they give you, they're going to copy and paste that. Then from there, you're going to go back to your OBS studio. You're going to copy and paste whatever that stream key was into the stream key tab. You're going to click apply and you're going to click OK. Now, after you've done all that, all you want to do is click start streaming and you are completely set up, my friend. So if you guys did enjoy this video, if this video did help you, be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you guys are new in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys need help with. I'm down to help you guys out any time of the day. So peace out, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.